everyone. Today is February 7th, Sunday, and it's actually snowing outside, so we're not going out. Uh, we're making this video to document a new chapter in our married life, which is pregnancy. So we actually found this out two weeks ago. It's actually a funny story because that time I was already one week delayed. And I was like, now um, my cycle must have been messed up. But a friend from the Philippines suddenly commented on my post on a picture on our Facebook saying that I dreamed of you last night being pregnant. And I was like, is this a sign? So that time, even if it was already night, I asked him to buy a pregnancy test kit and yes, it, it really tested positive. Um, although that time the line, the, that line was not really that clear yet. So I tested again the next morning and uh, it was positive and the line wasn't clear yet. So I was like, maybe it's, it was still early. So I needed to wait a week after the test again and the line became very very solid that like it was already very clear that you know i have a lot of hcg hormones to be detected on the test so thursday we're gonna update you all about the checkup we're hoping that it'll be positive because we're hoping to to have this blessing hey y'all i'm so <laughs> Yeah, that's how they do in, in, in the southern part of the U.S. Hey, y'all. Hey, guys. So, we're back. Actually, we are so late. Like, we're not, we have not been so good at updating and, uh, you know, doing documentation about, about my pregnancy because we are just too busy. Of course, he's too busy with with his two jobs, um, the engineering and the, and the marine reserves. Yeah, so the last time that we have made a video about this was February 7th. Yep, I have a list, I'm sorry, because it has been... What date is today? It's already June 20. So the last video we made was February 7th, and it has been Feb March, April, May, June, four months that we haven't been doing any, any videos. So this is just an update. Um, February 7, we were saying that we we tested positive on the pregnancy test kit and we were about to have our first OB checkup and the ultrasound. So and we were very worried that we were going to have a blighted ovum again, like, just like what happened last year. And we were blessed because when we had our first OB checkup on February 11, that day we discovered that we are really pregnant and there is a heartbeat so we were very happy and everything was normal with all the labs in the ob ob checkup went went well and then after that um we switched to another uh hospital where we're planning to for me to get to give birth and that's that Walter Reed. Walter Reed Military Medical Center. Is that the is that the the full name? Yes, it's at Walter Reed. So first, even though it's like 1.5 hours from here, it's worth it. Like we would drive there to have our checkup because first it's free, free for us because we're in a we're a military family, and we're very sure that of its quality because. Who goes there? The president. The president goes there to have, um, you know, checkups. All the presidents. Is it all the presidents? I don't know, but, you know, previous presidents and maybe the current president. And all the, maybe senators too, or, you know, especially those, those very important people. So uh, we were guessing that their quality is really good because, you know, in order to, to serve those people, you know, the quality must be good so we're very we're very confident to have our check up checkups in you know of course delivery there we had our first um check up there on march 18 we had another ultrasound with the ob 
and we, I was already 12 week that time. See the baby moving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get over See, the it's heart. real. It's real, no? <laughs> That's working radiology or something, but there's something that we we've never used that. In. And on that day, we also I also had a genetic screening. And then maybe two weeks later, we had the result, and fortunately, all are negative, meaning this baby is not gonna have any genetic disorders. Included on that test is also the gender. So we found out that we're gonna have a baby girl. We plan to give her Barbara as her first name. Barbara because it's the name of of Nick's grandmother whom I haven't met of course because she passed away in uh, what? 1996. 1996 and I was only like four years old and I was in the Philippines so yeah but I felt and we felt like she has always been with us because of course I have um, her engagement and wedding rings I have it with me they gave them to me when he proposed and uh, yeah she has always been a part of us even though i haven't really met her and then for the middle name we're planning to give her diana diana because actually came from from the name of of the person we are friends with here in maryland and she has been like a mother to us. So that's why it's Diana. It'll be Barbara Diana. All right, so after March 18, during that time also, I just wanna mention that I also took my IELTS and got my passing scores. Actually, I got scores which are higher than what I was aiming for. So that was good. That means anytime I want, I can already endorse my RN or registered nurse license from New York to Maryland or actually anywhere that you know we're gonna plan to settle down and then in April also another major event in our life Nick converted to Roman Catholic Catholicism so he's now a Roman Catholic we've been doing we've been attending classes since October when we moved here in Maryland and we've learned a lot about our faith. So even though I was baptized as a Catholic since I was a baby, I still needed those um, truths about our faith, about our religion. So it was a very big help for both of us, not just for him, who was you know the one converting, but also for me. So yeah, on Easter Sunday, he officially became a Roman Catholic and every week of course we couldn't miss the mass and we do um, the sacrament of confession or reconciliation every two weeks and we do bible study and also attend um, classes about our faith also currently we're attending class being offered by the couples for christ which is an organization originally from the philippines so most of the members there in our class are actually Filipinos. So April, when he converted, it was actually Easter Vigil, like the night before Easter Sunday. And then during that month, I think I only had a virtual appointment with an OB, meaning it's only through calls. And then May 17, last month, when we had another ultrasound for my 20 week. So it's kind of a big deal ultrasound because it's about the anatomy. Yep, we're happy to say that they have not detected any abnormalities. They said that all of the the parts are there, and uh, yeah, everything is good. And he said like And mm, okay, whatever. Mm. <laughs> everything is good with the baby. Yes, I want love in real quick. Give me kisses. Mm -mm. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. What else? Okay, and so oh, that was. Still loving. Hold on. So our next appointment will be on July 12th. July 12th. Next month.
that's for my 27th or 28th week actually 28th week and it's also a big deal big deal appointment because that's when they will test my sugar and yep yeah, so we're excited about that um, next appointment we want to know what's happening with the baby although we're very happy because every now and then the baby moves and kicks and we just want to see her again on that next appointment that's why we're very excited do you like feeling the baby moves mm -hmm. okay good and also it's father's day happy father's day mm -hmm. he's the father of florence and barbara so what do you feel i'm excited um nervous but excited she'll be a part of our family you know from this point on and everywhere that we go and everything that we do there she will be also so that's exciting yep and we're excited for florence to get here also so that will be complete a complete happy family where god is the center and by the way guys this is how big she is now and i'm already on my 25th week um, or more than six months.
Okay, it's Saturday morning, about 10, uh, 40 or 10.50, walking in and out of Fort Belvoir. And this is where you'll be born. Today it starts October 2nd. got my epidural. We're at, what's this place? Fort Belvoir. Yeah, because um, Walter E. doesn't have a space as of now. They're in, what do you call it? They diverted us here. Yeah, divert status. So we're here um, at 2 a.m. I experienced um, Contractions. I'm sorry if I, you know, my memory is low because I had some pain med, um, IV meds too, and of course epidural. And then, um, then at 8 a.m. this morning, I felt, you know, it's becoming so frequent, um, it's like three to five minutes interval. So, um, and the contractions are getting more painful. So I call Walter Reed. Unfortunately, they are on divert status, so they cannot handle more patients. So we were referred to here in Fort Belvoir. Fortunately, they have space. So we got here, and then I was examined. And when I got here, I was to see him, and 50% effaced. And then after that, some labs and you know swab test shot, you know it turned negative of course <sighs> you know, what happened next and then um we were transferred here i was given morphine um it's an iv you know painkiller and then after that i got epidural just now and yep so effective i can no longer feel any pain, although, you know, of course, there's, you know, those procedures are uncomfortable for me, but it's fine. You just can't wait to see Barbara. Just finished eating dinner. Mm. Uh -uh. Looks like mom had you had your sirloin again. And you ate it all. And here's you. Just hanging out in this crazy light.
picture of mm -hmm. the cow was jumping over the moon. smile again? Can you smile again? Mm. Hey. <coughs> hey! There you are. You're smiling. Okay, give him more smile. More smile. Yes? Mm -hmm. What are you saying? After a shower. Okay. I know. Hiccups too. Right? <coughs> I know. stuff isn't it neat wouldn't you think my collection's complete wouldn't you think I'm the girl the girl who was everything look at this trope treasures and tow how many wonders can one cavern hold Looking around here, you'd think, sure she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos to plenty. I've got woozits and wantsits galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got twenty. Who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to 
be where the people are. I want to see when I see them dancing, walk around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along now. What's that word again? Oh, street. What would I give if I could live out of these waters? What would I pay? To spend a day warm on the sand. Bet you on the land they understand, but they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. Once it might turn. Wouldn't I love, love to explore the shore up above, out of the sea? Wish I could be part of that. Good morning, my love. Yeah. And then. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh no. mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. Wow. What do you want, Passy? <laughs> mm -hmm. You have a lot of things to say. Okay, and then? What else?
was. You're... I know. You're my baby love. I'm your mom's love, okay? Barbara? Barbara? <laughs> Why don't we sleep? <laughs> Do you want your pussy? What is that? A, a camera. Mm -hmm. Say hi to the camera. Hi. It's fun. <laughs> Barbara. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. 